Jashara Wan. I'm a local author illustrator. I live down in Hudson and um, my debut picture book just came out yesterday. It's called What a Lucky Day. It's out from Norton Young Readers and you can find a copy at Fireside Bookshop. And to celebrate the book's release I wanted to show you how to draw one of the characters. I think we're going to draw Raccoon today. So let's get started. All right, so he's basically like a giant A shape, but with a few uh, serifs. Keep it within the font reference. Okay, I'm gonna start with the top of his head. I'm gonna do a horizontal line like that, and then I'm gonna come diagonally all the way down bottom of his feet and I'm going to go at an angle. It's like a block letter A almost, but we've got these points at the edge. So I'll just do a little 45 degree angle from that and then parallel line towards the middle. Opposite. Do the other leg of the A. Then start going all the way up, but before we get to the top, we're about three quarters of the way up. I'm going to put in another triangle. That's going to be a snout. We can come back and just finish that. So it's basically like an A shape with a few triangles stuck to the side. Okay, now. Let's draw his eye. That's where people usually start, but I guess I wanted to get his body down first. So his eye is like a diagonal oval. I'm gonna go around a couple of times to give it his the classic mask-like look that raccoons have. We learn in the book that despite having masks, raccoons aren't actually criminals or cartoon burglars. Uh, the masks around their eyes are actually uh, so they can see better at night. It absorbs the fur, the dark fur around their eyes absorbs light so they can see better at night. Okay, so we've got that and then I'm going to draw a circle in there for his eye. I'm going to fill it in too but leave a little white dot so he has like a little shine in his eye. Now I'm going to do his ears. Again, it's like two triangles on top. We've got one big one and one smaller one. This one's a little further away from us. The one that's a little further away from us, we can entirely fill in all black. And then the one that's a little nearer, we're going to draw another triangle inside there and then fill that outer edge in black because that ear is facing us so we can see into it. We can see he's got a little few hairs in his ears too. It's covered in fur I guess. And let's, we're going to color in the tip of this triangle black. And there now he has got a nose on his snout. I'm going to draw a curve shape Part, as much of an oval as you can fit coming out of there. That'll give him his white muzzle around his mouth and then give him a quarter of a circle for a smile because he is going to have a lucky day. He's going fishing, going to catch some fish, learn some lessons, make some friends, have a fish dinner. He 
he's happy. Then I put in three dots for whiskers there. Let's give him these boots. Just lines about halfway up his leg for uh, to distinguish his boots from the rest of them. And then I'm going to double, just make some parallel lines here for the soles of his boots. And then he's got just a little design detail there on his boots. Now, I kind of imagined Raccoon wearing those high-waisted rubber overalls that fly fishers wear. So I'm going to start drawing a line across, and then before I get too far, I'm going to do half a circle, and then finish that line that I started there. And that is the top of his overalls. And this is the part that goes over his shoulder. We're going to do a, another parallel half circle for that. So you can see that it's a strap. Do a little line in, a little line in here. And then we're going to do a big curved shape for his arm. There, he's got his arm coming up through the overall strap. And I have a zigzag here to show his fur pattern. color it in black. All right, now he's got a big football shaped tail. It's kind of like a pointed oval, football shape, I guess. Oh. Barely making out of the page. And then he's got three stripes on that tail. Hopefully black stripes. So it ends up being six parallel lines, and then I'm going to fill it in with black. All right. Coming together pretty fast. Now, oh, he's got a button on the front of his overalls, just a circle with four dots in it. Classic button shape. Now, um, let's give him, he doesn't have a proper fishing rod. He's got a stick that he's tied a string to. Um, we're going to draw that, but first let's draw his other arm that's going to be holding that stick. So it's kind of going to be a similar shape to the other arm we did, just peeking out from the other side. There we go, just a Another curved line. Now I'm going to do a big diagonal line for his stick. And because it is a stick, there's a little branch there. And then he's got do three lines there for where the rope is tied, and then a little sideways B shape for the knot, tied knot that he's made. A curved line coming down with a circle at the end of it and backwards J for a line. Or I guess it's almost more of a G actually. So we're half of a G for the hook. Now let's give him a finish up that paw. I think while I'm coloring that pot in, I'm going to leave a little white edge so his stick doesn't completely disappear in his paw. All right, there is Raccoon. And let's see, I'm going to give him, I'll do some dashed lines underneath him to ground him a little. Just 
And then throughout the book, there's uh, patches of glass that kind of look like irregular crowns. And, uh, yeah, I think he's done. Let's color this guy in. So I'd love to see how your raccoons turn out. Um, please send them to me via Instagram. I've got my account right here. That's my handle on Instagram. Please send them to me. I'd love to see how yours turn out. This is how I'm coloring my raccoon in, but you can color yours in however you feel fit. Instead of blue, you could do gray or really any color. The fun thing about art is really anything goes. There's only as many rules as you want there to be when it comes to making art. You don't even have to get inside the lines if you don't want to while you're coloring it in. And uh, in the book, Raccoon has some, uh, his kind of purplish pants. He's a uh, in the book, he's very worried that raccoon might give him, not raccoon, raccoon is worried that frog might give him warts. But we also learn in the book that warts don't come from frogs, despite how bumpy they might look. They're actually, uh, warts have an entirely different source. But you should always wash your hands after handling a frog uh, just because they might still have even if you don't get warts from them you could pick up bacteria or toxins and washing hands is a good idea anyway these days especially and i think raccoons are always very good about washing their their food at least before they eat it Let's see Color in some yellow boots. I think in my mind that's a classic boot color. And the details of the boot are doing a light brown. I'll color in the grasses. It's different shades of green. All right. There we have Raccoon. This is how my Raccoon turned out. How did yours turn out? Can't wait to see it. Please send it to me. Definitely love to see how they all turn out. 
And uh, reminder, what a lucky day. Is that Fireside Bookshop now? They should have some signed copies too, so get them while they have them. And uh, thanks so much for joining me. Take care. Bye.